Uh, it's Monday and I'm giving you our daily Decker update. We've got the drive shaft reinstalled in the truck so it's just at the point where it's about to become mobile and we're doing a few measurements on the frame here thinking about where the deck is going to end up. I've put a white line on the back of the frame right there. You can see my marker pan is also sticking up. So the owners are thinking about putting an 11 foot deck on and we've taken a few photos and we're looking at just how that's going to be balanced. Primarily we're going to have a, a hitch on the back of the truck here and the deck is only going to be used when the trailer is not connected so we've got a few kind of a unique situation here but we're looking at putting on an 11 foot deck and that's where it's going to end up. Some of the other tasks that are remaining on the truck now are to deal with the box liner. Uh, what we're planning to do though is I want to get that frame cut off uh, before we do the box liner. Of course if I have box liner on there it's going to melt and get all hot and burn and everything so I wanted to leave the frame untreated uh, at this point until we get that frame cut off. The plan as well is we're just for the trip home until we get the deck on this light system is going to be moved up and put back in place. So we'll need to unbolt that top and bottom and temporarily we'll use some bolts and bolt it to the bottom or the uh, edge of the frame with some angle iron. And looking top down there is our modified and balanced and straightened drive shaft in place. What I've done is I put my tape measure right on the center of the axle and the 11 foot mark is to the front edge of this paint mark so we are 59 and one quarter inches from the center of the axle thought I'd give you that measurement just out of interest sake measuring from the back of the sleeper to the center of the axle is just shy of six feet it is 71 and three quarter inches so balance wise we've got more frame rail out to the front certainly than we do from the wheels to the back so I think visually we've got a nice balance we're a little more weighted towards the front of the truck 